Hi, Mr. Barros, and this is Science 7th and 8th grade combo class. This science class is an SAI class, which stands for Specialized Academic Instruction. Um, what that means is that your student is in a smaller classroom environment, and there's also more adults in the room who are able to help out your students' IEP goal, and also have breakout rooms. Uh, breakout rooms are great for our students because when it's time for independent practice, we can split the class in different groups and pair them up with different um, instruction aides or myself to help us them in the way they need it. Um, Google Classroom is what we're using as a platform for um, for assignments, um, notifications, materials, self students which are enrolled in. And um, this is our main platform which the students check in regularly to make sure that they're up to date with everything that's required of them. Curriculum and resources. So this year I'll be utilizing um, two resources especially. Uh, one is Mr. Science. They're a great series of videos, have a lot of extended activities with um, hands-on activities, but also um, just ways for students to work in groups and to discuss. Also, Mr. Science is another great online resource um, that's full of great visual models um, to help students better understand and engage with science. Whilst we in Nearpod, um, a lot of the experience won't be accessible now that we're on Zoom, but Nearpod is great because we can create models that students can um, draw on, color on, annotate, and then share with the classroom. And then we also have our Holt California Science textbooks. We'll be using that less often, but sometimes there's some great um, visuals in there that I like to um, have the class turn to. Academic and behavioral expectations. So we do expect um, students to check Google regularly, daily. Um, this way students are always up to date with what's um, required and it's also because oftentimes we um, we may post notifications on things that are coming up um, if for some reason we have technical difficulties and we have to kind of change to a different platform then I then students can log on and check to see um, what changes have to be made um, sometimes when a student turns in an assignment if it's incomplete um, or needs an edit I can send it back to them and notify them that it needs some changes to be made. So again, students need to be checking regularly to know um, any kind of changes that are going on as they're happening. Attendance is still critical. We need students to be um, on time um, and here, um, on time and present in, in Zoom. Um, and it's more than just logging in and making sure that students are engaged and listening. And that's why it's important to have our students with their cameras on, um, as it is with Zoom it can be difficult to gauge how a student is doing, whether they're really understanding the material or whether they have, there's a confusion or they have some questions that they're feeling comfortable to ask. Um, that's why it's important we can see our students' faces to make sure that they're engaged, interacting, and we can um, kind of address any specific needs in the moment. <clears throat> As for microphones, um, we do it in class too, but um, I would recommend at home having your students practice turning the mics on when speaking and turning them back off immediately when they're done. This is what they're no extra ambient noise um, during our Zoom meetings, but also to protect your privacy that the cam the microphone is not just on, you know, and we can hear everything's going in the background. So um, it helps for students and for the classroom as well. As for materials, there's not really much. Um, it, it might be helpful to have um, something to write with and write on in case students would like to take notes. Um, once in a while, I might do some computations um, when it comes to things when we're working like with um, things like physics, um, like uh, acceleration and whatnot, um, distances. So that should be available to them in case we need to jot something down. Other than that, that kind of covers it. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me, um, provided is my email and my phone number.